kind of sucks. Um, I just took Caden to Taekwondo and uh, dropped him off, or I was dropping him off, and the um, truck just stopped. I don't know why. I just stopped running. And uh, I uh, tried starting and it wouldn't start. So I'm not too sure what's wrong with it. I don't know if it's overheated. Um, I called BCAA, let it cool down, tried starting again, and it wouldn't start. Now I know it's not the battery. My battery's sitting at 100%. Um, I know it's not the starter. I don't think it's the alternator, otherwise the battery wouldn't be at 100%. Um, so I'm a little confused. So that was, what time is it now? That was three, two hours ago, almost three hours ago. Uh, they just picked up the truck, they're taking it to the shop and I will have to go in in the morning and um, have my wife take me there, whatever, get a loaner and oh, kind of messes up my day for tomorrow because um, I got to take Caden to school. Oh, my wife's not working. Good. He needs her vehicle in the morning. Um, but yeah, it does kind of make a mess of things. Oh, it gets frustrating. Because it's running in perfect condition and everything, so I don't, don't know what it is. That's where it gets confusing. Anyway, we'll find out. I'm getting my truck back. Uh, it's nice to have my truck back operating. Um, it's funny because when it stopped working, I was just idling and it just died. So first thing I looked at was, where's my gas level on? Second thing I looked at was, is my gas cap on? Then I went to check to see if I had my catalytic converter. Um, none of that seemed to work. I didn't know what it was at that point. And it was the fuel pump. Uh, what, 14 years for a fuel pump? It's not bad. Um, this one's, they say, between 10 and 12 years. And, um, yeah. You can't predict a fuel pump, I guess. And it's not easy, you gotta drop the tank. I know on one of my vehicles, the um, you could change it from the back seat, uh, but yeah, not this one. So, when you're dealing with parts and you're dealing with when you're dealing with parts and you're dealing with um, things like that, it, it's where it gets the cost up your hours and everything else. So those are the things you need to look out for when you're doing things. But yeah, it's it gets a little crazy sometimes. Uh, you, you're spending $300 for a fuel pump and then you're spending another $300 for, for labor. Uh, and then you got your diagnostics, which is, your diagnostics, which is, uh, like 200 bucks 175 bucks then it starts adding up so yeah um <laughs> had a lady riding my butt there and then decided to honk at me it's like really you see somebody pulling in and then they speed up and that's the thing i can never figure out why do you speed up when you see somebody that's trying to pull in 
Um, isn't it supposed to be the other way around? And you slow down. I don't get it. We're in a society now that's in a rush. Rush, 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 rush. And why? You get there at the same time. And you know what? I am guilty of that too. Uh, fully guilty of that. Uh, and the thing is, why? But I'm glad to have my truck back. I'm glad to um, be able to use it instead of relying on my wife's vehicle and my wife to drive me everywhere. Um, because when you're relying on somebody else, you're relying on their schedule um, and when, when they need the vehicle. And that can be a little bit uh, tedious sometimes. So yeah, I'm thankful to have my vehicle back. Thank you, Dan Hansen, for fixing the vehicle. Um, they take care of the mechanical stuff that uh, my off-roading company can't really do, uh, which they could do, but usually I need to wait two or three weeks to get an appointment there. So I couldn't wait that long. But thank you guys. Thanks for watching. And remember, check it out. VanCityAdventure.ca You'll find a lot of stuff there. You'll find answers to questions. You'll find merchandise like this. Uh, you'll find stickers and a lot of other stuff. Uh, if you guys want to support us, check it out. Go to our Patreon site. Um, it's a new platform that we're starting to use now. And we're really... Um, anxious to actually use this and uh, looking forward to it. Uh, if that doesn't work, there's always YouTube memberships. And our, our issue with YouTube memberships is that YouTube takes a bigger percentage, uh, which we don't get, YouTube gets, where if it's through Patreon or some of these other ones, we get more of a cut, uh, which goes to our filming budget, to our adventures. And it's because of you guys that we do these adventures and of your support. So we want to thank you guys. Uh, we really appreciate it. Once again, thank you everybody. And we look forward to seeing you in the next one. See you guys soon. And remember, don't live by the what ifs in life. Get out there and do epic shit. See ya.